When selling an item in Guild or putting it in stock, one of its most basic attributes is its category. Its category is a quick and abbreviated way to know what kind of item it is. To view or edit your category list, go to Inventory Search and then Category List and type in your password. Here you will see Guild's category list. You can customize this to fit your items. The way Guild's categories are set up is to have the very first number to be a basic grouping of the category. After that, the letters you use are intended to be an acronym. The default groupings you are given in Guild are one for diamond, two for gold, three for watch or clock, four for colored stone, five for pearl, six for costume jewelry, and seven for miscellaneous. After the number, the rest of the category is made up of an acronym of whatever your item is. So if we go back up to the top, one is for a diamond item, and DC stands for diamond cross. If we scroll down a little bit. One LD, diamond item, one loose diamond. Two GC, it's a gold item, and it's a gold chain. So that covers the basic naming convention for an inventory item category. At the bottom of this list, there are guild specific categories that have a special meaning and use in guild. So as you can see, a jewelry repair is JR, watch repair is WR, postage PO, graving EN, these categories cannot be changed. However, the rest of the categories, the ones that start with the number, can be changed to whatever you want them to be. For example, if you wanted to change the acronym for this cross pen refill, you can click into this box and type in whatever you want the acronym to be and then hit enter. It will ask you whether or not you want to change all the related entries for this category and you want to say yes. This is important so that if you have any existing items with that category, they will be changed to your new abbreviation. Besides editing an existing category, you can also delete a category if it's not appropriate for your store. So if you don't want this 7JP, you just click the little red X to the right of that category. If you have a category that you would like to add, you can do that by going down to the little arrow with the asterisk at the bottom and clicking on it. That will take you to a blank box in which you can type in your new category. I'm adding a topaz bracelet as one of the category options. You can pick an appropriate group for this category. In this case, we'll use the colored stone jewelry. And that's all there is to adding a category. And with that, we have covered the basics of using categories in Guild.